In this quick tutorial, we will see how to use NTOPNG with Logstash. So the first thing that we can do is to create a Logstash configuration file that is basically made up of two simple chains, one input and one output. So let's see. So in this configuration file I specified a TCP input and I bound the listening server on the local IP address port 5510 using codec JSON. I also created a very simple filter that drops flows that don't have IPv4 source address or IPv6 source address. Then as an output I will show just basically the content of the flows on the command line. So let's start our logstash instance using the configuration file we have just seen. At this point the logstash instance is running, we can just fire up our ntopng. We can specify an in interface that has to be monitored. In this case, it's interface n0. And then using option minus f, we are telling ntopng to use logstash on hosts. 1.119 using protocol TCP and port 5510. So now we can start our instance of ntopng and we should see very shortly the first flows that will pop out here in the standard output of this shell. Let's try to generate some traffic. Okay, I'm just visiting this website to create some web traffic and some flows and Now the first flows should start expiring. Let me close this one. Okay, here we are. As we can see from the standard output, flows that have been detected by NTOPNG are properly injected into Logstash and printed out to standard output. 